Ferndale. So again, FHA doesn't care about if it's ugly as heck, or even if it's not painted, it doesn't need to be weather treated. Sometimes they do look at rotted wood, but in this case, the guy actually cut us some slack and didn't even call out, and there's rotted wood all over this thing. Um, so normally we can't have it, we should have put trim, but in this case, the only thing, he's just covering his butt, because this could be lead paint, so like this, where it's all chipping and peeling. So you gotta scrape it, you gotta, or just put a drop, I was gonna say you have to shop vac it, but you can't just scrape it and leave it on the floor. I mean, you could take a shovel, actually. I've done this before, where just dig it up and then scrape it into there and then just put the dirt on top of it. You could do that. Um, or just put a drop cloth down and try and capture it, but it's probably easier to just dig it up away from there. But, but then again, it's in some spot. So the only place it is, let me close this so we could see better. Um, so it's any place that it's worn off. So like they count, you know, any place that you see white, because this is, it's weird, like, cause it's scraped off of there. So that's an issue. So you got to paint that area. But in this case, there's not even paint on here. This is perfectly fine. We don't have to touch this. It's just raw wood. They're just like, they don't know if there's, if this is lead paint and for safety reasons, if there's kids, they just want to make sure that it's scraped and it's painted and it's up to the homeowner to maintain it after that. But when they go into this house, they want to make sure it's scraped and painted. So specifically what you got to do is I would just hit this all with black or if you got gray paint, just slap it on with gray. If you have black, you could just touch up the spots, but if you have gray, just slap it right on. Slap it across there, because you can see it's chipping up there, up there. I think even on those little shutters, I would hit them with gray. Um, so here, don't even worry about painting this unpainted piece of wood here. I would bring a, um, this thing is falling off, so I would bring a screw gun and put like a bunch of screws, or it's gonna, it looks like they had it screwed, but it's just, this is almost like paper, it's falling apart. So one thing is to pull it off, but it's like really thin. I would just put like eight screws in this just to kind of hold it on and then just hit it with some gray paint um, in some spots. Now, I don't think he has a problem with, I mean, he better not have a problem. All right, so you know what? With the gray paint, he better not have a problem with this board falling apart here. But let's hit the front, any place in the front that looks like it has spots where it flaked off let's just hit that with paint don't scrape it because the whole thing would just come right off if you scrape this so just um paint this um i think if it looks better so just hit hit any of the spots that have the paint hit, paint all the trim gray screw that in over there and then when you come through here some on the back too so this one's Okay, but oh, to here, so you can see the black trim. It's just so obvious with the black trim where, uh, so this one looks like it was painted, so we might have to, I don't know, it's not scraped though. Maybe just hit that too. Yeah, so just hit that with gray. All right. <laughs> 